Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today's video will be about relayed hotspots and uh, what I do to not have that problem. So, cheers to you guys. Good coffee. Uh, let's get right into it. So, if you are having issues with this right here, you need to fix it, period. There's no question about it. You need to fix it. Uh, a lot of you guys, uh, you know, hit this button here, and uh, then you start reading all the documentation that uh, the Healing Network puts out, which actually I have right here. You know, you get a little page like this that uh, uh, has all kinds of information. Number one, number two are up there. I scroll down to number three and number four because this is normally the problem. The TCP ports 44158 need to be open in both directions, incoming and outgoing. And a lot of times, probably 90% of the time, if not more, this is the problem. Okay, so you need to uh, hit that button. Let me get rid of this right here. You need to hit that get help button that you see right over here. And it'll bring up that other screen and you need to read it. <clears throat> but like I said, most of the time, a lot of the time, actually, probably nine out of 10, this is the problem. Okay, now. How to do this, uh, it, it becomes a little tricky to, to explain in one video because there are so many different routers and modems and stuff out there with different steps. The screens look different. The, the, the name of where you put the stuff, it, it looks there, there, there's There's a gazillion different ways to do it. So I'm not going to get into how you're going to do it for a particular device, but this site right here, portforward.com, provides quite an extensive list of different routers and how you can uh, forward those ports in both directions so that you don't have that relay problem anymore. Now, what I am using, and which is what I, what I wanted to talk about on this particular video, because it's what I am doing, is I am using a DMZ. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but Chupa here is going to show us what a DMZ is, okay? And the DMZ stands for Demilitarized Zone. This is a term that's been around for a very long time, but it is being used on uh, computers and uh, networks these days. And uh, it is to basically uh, describe this network that is outside of the network, if you will. Uh, let me show you here a picture of the structure of the DMZ network architecture. Okay, so as you can see, our networks are protected by firewalls. Okay, even, even the internet, even the stuff coming in from the internet. So you have firewalls protecting our, our local networks at home, you know, for safety, you know, whatever you want to call it. But the DMZ basically creates this network that is outside of the firewalls, okay? And you might already be thinking, well, how safe is that? Well, in reality, it's not. But this is why we're not going to connect anything that contains sensitive data, okay? So we want to connect things that contains less sensitive data than perhaps a laptop or a PC or anything like that. 
And I think a helium miner uh, will qualify under that. Yes, a helium miner is mining uh, HMT tokens and whatnot, but it's those tokens are being put into our wallets, which are not within your miner. They're not inside your miner. They are in your wallet. Your miner is just literally communicating with the internet and the more direct than it, that it can do that, the better, which is why I went with the DMZ for my setup. I didn't have anything connected on my DMZ, not even my gaming console, because I have it set up in a way that I have no problem. So that my DMZ was free and open to be used for whatever. So I couldn't find a better, uh, a better device to connect to the DMZ than my helium miners. Besides, it is making me money. And, you know, the, the, the easier it is for that miner to communicate with the internet, the better because I need to transfer data uh, and stuff like that. You guys know how it works, hopefully. So uh, the DMZ is a really, really good option in my opinion. Of course, you still have the option of the traditional port forwarding and uh, you can do that. It, it works, absolutely, 100% it works. I'm just giving you my setup and why I'm using the DMZ. Uh, because it, it works, in my opinion, a lot easier. I, I just set up a static ID for my miner, and then I set up that particular static ID on the DMZ and leave it at that. I, I don't ever touch it. It's been over two weeks, and I haven't had a single problem with my miner being relayed or anything of the sort. It, my miner's transmissions are good. It uh, it has uh, transferred uh, data. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I haven't had a problem, like I said. So, again, DMZ, in my opinion, very, very, very useful for the purpose of Helium Miner, okay? So, uh, you can look up information online about the DMZ if you would like some more. There's tons of it. DMZ is not new. It's been around for a while, and uh, there's plenty of information on it. But I do suggest that if you're going to connect your miner uh, to, you know, to the internet, I, I, you know, which we have to, of course, I, I would recommend using a DMZ if you have it available on your uh, home network or wherever network you are connecting the miner to. So let's, uh, let me show you some stuff here. Uh, before I started filming this video, I decided to take a picture of the, uh, my miner's uh, diagnostic report. And as you can see, Everything is okay. My NAT type, none. My my router is as free, or my miner, not my router. My miner is as free to communicate with the world as it wants. It's there. There's nothing stopping it from communicating, and I like that personally. Um. Once you're done setting up your port forwarding, if you decide to go that way, or if you choose to do the DMZ, there is this website that I highly recommend. Can you see me? .org. Thank you, John, for telling me about that site. Very useful, very useful. Just put in your the port, which is going to be 44158. Over here, you should see your public IP address, which is the... IP address that matters, not the address that the router gives your device. The IP that needs to be able to communicate inbound and outbound is your public IP address, which is going to be the one showing in this box. So leave it there. And then when you're done, you hit this little button here, and then you'll get a little thing over here, success or fail. So, uh, Pretty straightforward, very basic. Go with that and, uh, you know, keep tweaking until you can get it right. But if you don't see this, if you don't see success, something is wrong, okay? And that uh, you can expect your miner to be relayed at some point, okay? So 
Very, very useful site, canyouseeme.org. Very, very nice uh, basic site for the purpose of checking your port. Easy, straight to the point. Now, there is something else, and uh, this is this comes up a lot too. Uh, sometimes people have issues with their uh, with their modems, with their routers. Hey, you know, I have this router from the from the uh, internet provider, and I I can't get into it. I don't know how to do it. Look, I highly recommend that you get yourself your own router modem combo from Amazon or wherever you want to get it. Highly recommend it. They're fairly priced. They're, they're, they're not expensive at all, in my opinion. And they work excellent. This is the one that I currently have for me. And it's because it gives me up to 300 Mbps. And I have the 200 Mbps plan with Spectrum. So I don't need anything above 300. But if you have... Uh, I don't know, a 600 or whatever, then you're probably going to need something a little higher and uh, they are available as well. So I recommend you do this, guys. These routers, uh, modem combinations, uh, they're much nicer, much better quality. They're the dashboard when you log in. It's everything. It's much more organized. Uh, it's... Everything is easier, guys. Seriously, it's much easier. It's much useful. It's better for you. And the best part is that these things are normally, you know, for most people, for what most people need, they're going to be under $200 for what most people need. If you're one of those crazy internet guys and you got like a 2 trillion Mbps, whatever <laughs> plan, you know, I, I hear you. But for the most of us, most of these routers... Uh, combos are going to be under $200. And most internet provider companies will charge you anywhere between $5 and $7 a month for your equipment. Did you know that? If you didn't, now you do. Some of them are starting to uh, promote or market the thing where no equipment fees. And the reason for that is because people like me and a bunch of others, and now you know this information that you can actually own your own router combo, uh, which is going to be most likely a lot better than what they provide you with. And you can buy it for less than $200 and pay it off in a year or two. The, it, it all depends on, on what, you know, on, on the cost of whatever router you get. And you won't have to be paying these people five, six, seven dollars a month for their junk. So I highly recommend looking at, at these. I'm going to leave a, uh, a link in the description below for uh, the particular one that I use. But if you like to go a little higher, they go there. Use my link and that way I will get a little bit of an affiliate commission at no extra cost to you. But I am bringing you this information, guys, and I appreciate all the all the help and I appreciate all the support. It will be uh, going back into making more content and uh, buying more gadgets and reviewing it. So I really appreciate the support. And uh, hey, Miguel, how does this work? Is, are those routers good? Are they fast? Well, I will show you my speed test that I did before shooting this video. Now, mind you, this is on my laptop computer. This is on Wi-Fi. I have the 200 Mbps plan from Spectrum upload, uh, or I mean download, and it includes 12 Mbps upload. So how close did I get earlier? This actually went up to 180-ish. I was not fast enough in hitting the uh, print screen and capturing the photo at the correct time, but close enough. And this is normally pretty close to the 12, no problem there. But like I said, guys, I'm on Wi-Fi and I'm hitting nearly the 200 Mbps. So I'm almost at the, at the full speed on Wi-Fi. 
And mind you that my router is behind that wall behind me. So it is going through a wall and into my uh, kitchen counter here where I, where I film this. And I'm getting nearly the full 200. It works great. It downloads fast. I play games on my laptop uh, with no problem. It's, it's quick. So the modem, the router combo works well. And I highly recommend you look at those. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's about it guys. I just wanted to share my opinion on the DMZ and, uh, why I think that you should look into it yourself. Uh, it is a very, very good feature, uh, that most modern routers, uh, have, and a lot of us are not using it. And I can't think of a better situation to use it than for our helium miners, they need to communicate with the world and they need to transfer data without any interruptions, without any firewall, without any problems. And the DMC provides that freedom. This device is earning you money, guys. Uh, so you do whatever you want, but I highly recommend that you look at the DMZ feature for your uh, helium miner because I think in the end it's going to uh, be uh, worth it for you to do it that way. But again, if you want to use a traditional way of uh, port forwarding and all that, it works. It works just fine. No problem. I'm just, again, telling you about the DMZ because it's what I use uh, with my two miners that are currently connected and they're both having zero problems with Relay. So... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as always, comment because I love comments. I learn a lot from your comments. Ask me questions, give me suggestions, uh, any tips, any anything that you have, guys. That's what my channel is all about, and uh, I learn a lot from you guys. So please keep those comments coming and uh, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a blessed weekend. Enjoy it. Stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you soon. 150 subscribers just about. So keep them coming, guys. Thanks a lot.